Hi everybody, this is Las Vemia, and welcome to the first episode of Nuke Quick Tips. In this series of videos, I'll be sharing some tips and tricks for Foundry's Nuke. This first episode is about node workflows. I have three quick tips I want to share with you that can potentially save you a lot of time. The first quick tip is about navigating through your node tree. I personally love to use the F hotkey to select and zoom into any nodes or areas I want to see. Pressing F with nothing selected lets you zoom out again. I also like to place no up nodes around my node tree so I can customize where it's positioned when I zoom out, which makes it easier for me to select my backdrops. I think it's one of the fastest ways to navigate through your node tree. And looking at it from a bird's eye view a lot helps me personally to rearrange and optimize my script. It's always a good idea to keep your script as clean as possible and leave a bit of space between your backdrops so it's easier for you to select or rearrange them. The second quick tip I want to share with you is the usage of a little tool that I uploaded on Wikipedia that is called Open and Close, which lets you open and close your node properties with two customizable shortcuts. This is the link to it, which you can also find in the description of this video. After installing Open and Close, which should appear in your upper menu bar, you can select a node and press Alt and left angle bracket to open your selected node's properties as a floating window. And just press the left angle bracket to close all of your node's properties. Keep in mind that you can change these shortcuts as you like. This brings me to the third and last quick tip of this video, which is about connecting your nodes over large node tree distances. Let's say we're at the bottom of the node tree and we would need to get an input from a node that is all the way up at the top. Now what you don't want to do is take your input and go on a nature hike to reach the top of your node tree at some point in the distant future. What you could do instead is select the node that needs an input, open its properties, go to your output node, open its properties too, shift click on the input, then on the output node's properties, and press Y. Done. And close. So with the combination of the F hotkey to navigate, the open and close tool to make handling your node properties windows a bit easier, and the lovely Y hotkey that connects your nodes, you can potentially save a lot of time. In the next episode of New Quick Tips, I'll be talking about how you can take advantage of the Genius W hotbox from Walter Gilsing that you can get on Wikipedia. This is the link to it, which you can also find in the description of this video. All right, that's it for the first episode of Nuke Quick Tips. I hope you liked it. Again, my name is Lars Vemia. Thanks for watching, and goodbye, everybody.